This is McCook's Mr. Bills, an honor to have you here. I was given two of these great big tanks, water tanks, I'll be using them for because I collect rainwater. 250 gallons each, so that's an extra 500 gallons I'll be able to stockpile and utilize for my gardens, which is a blessing. They were given to me by uh, Dozer the Redneck on YouTube, if you ever want to see him. He makes some pretty interesting films as far as that goes. But he gave these to me, and it will be a blessing, no question. But you're here for a story. Well, this is Easter time. That means that we honor a man that was born of a 14-year-old virgin some 2,000 years ago. And he was killed this time period, they so say. And three days later, though, they tell us that he rose from the dead. And he did it to save our souls. And while he was on earth, he didn't try to change the world. He just tried to change men's hearts. Anytime you try to change anything, though, be it the world, be it the government, or be it man's hearts, somebody's going to hate you. That's just how it is. And it's still that way today in many forms. But I always find common sense and just simply letting things slide and looking for the way of a peaceful coexistence as the best way to do things. We had here, uh, this last news media was beating up uh, a gay couple wanted a company to make them a wedding cake. The company didn't believe in gays getting married so they didn't want to make the cake. Okay. Well, the gay couple belly ached and bawled and went to the government and complained to the news media, which gladly picked up on it and just carried it and declared war on that company. I don't know how many fines and other problems they got that company into, but a bunch, I'm here to tell you, I assume. We out here, however, do things a little differently. Give an example. My wife had a couple thousand dollars some years back, and she had her money, I had mine. And a thou couple thousand dollars, she wanted to put it in a CD. So I said, no problem, let me look around to the banks and loan institutions in McCook and we'll find out wh who's got the best interest. Well, I went to this one place, walked in there, and I said, got a couple thousand for looking for the best CD you got. And uh, the first thing they said is, uh, what church do you go to? I said, well, I don't go to a church. I don't believe in church. I said, Jesus Christ lives in here, not in some building or some organized uh, man's religion, in my humble opinion. And uh, they said, well, if, you don't, if you're not an active member of a church here in McCook, we won't deal with you. And I said, oh, really? I said, yep. I said, well, okay. Uh, it doesn't matter that I'm a Christian. Nope, didn't matter. I said, it doesn't matter that you can probably... Uh, ask any book and verse and I can quote it to you. That didn't matter either. And I said, well, I guess I'm in the wrong place then. And so I just simply walked out. I didn't get huffy puffy. I didn't call the cops or law enforcement. I didn't uh, declare war or go to the news media and say how I had been injured mentally. No, I just went to the, uh, on and I went to the bank, which had switched hands now. Now it's Union Bank. But never once do they ask me if I'm a member of a church. They just take my money and give me a good interest for it. And that's how it is. That's, that's how it is. And so with that in mind, rather than to declare war and cause trouble, sometimes it's easier to look for a peaceful coexistence. And if nothing else, if you can't have peace in the world, at least have peace with yourself. Rate this film.